Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Crap Show, where today uh, we have part 42, I want to say, for you, for Armored Core Nexus. I think it's part 42. I don't know. Anyway, welcome back. Um, or for the very first time, and today we're actually doing the final episode, episode 15, and, uh, this is going to be the last chronological episode, I guess, because here's the thing, I still have to go back and get S ranks to get, like, to finish the, like, completion of the game, kind of. And the ones I'm missing are very hard. So there's three, the reverse side. Uh, and then there's five, remake. remake. That one's just takes longer. Uh, 14 remake. Um, not sure why that didn't get S rank, but it's alright. That one might be easier. Um, oh, and episode 50. Disorder. Mop of the remnants of Chrome's defeated troops. We attempted to retaliate in kind, but ultimately failed. Although we were defeated, we still had another opportunity at that time. Had it not been for the presence of a raven, things may have gone differently. We prefer to be vague, non-specific, leaving the listener and the reader curious. Curiouser and curiouser. This is a special announcement to inform all Ravens of Chrome's dissolution. Their plans to conduct a military coup using new MT technology will never be realized. As for Chrome's remaining assets, all of these will be brought under Murakumo's control and kept in our possession until appropriate uses are found for them. Now that the confrontation is over, situations requiring the use of Ravens will likely diminish. Hopefully, this is a sign that mankind is moving towards a peaceful future. Until then, there is still work to be done. We'd like you to carry out a thorough investigation of the Chrome military installation where a small group of holdouts is believed to be hiding. Eliminate any resistance encountered during your search. Okay. So, for this one... a hidden part for this mission. Uh, actually, for the final two missions, these will be the last two hidden parts on the disc, which means the last two hidden parts in the entire game. So that's, that's pretty cool. That part is almost half part. Uh, that portion of the completion process is almost done. And honestly, it's the most obscure. So, aside from like, how to S rank, it's like a hidden mechanic in the game. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and over. I actually don't think that changes anything on the file. Except for the intro thing, we'll play. Um, 
prologue. There we go. Won't play if I load this one up. Uh, so we need to finish the thing very fast. No. No, we just need to defeat the boss very fast. So yeah, I'm gonna go with my tank. Um... Kind of get a feel for the mission. This is a special I think that's probably a good way to start. However, based on the description, it sounds like maybe we might need to be a bit more mobile. Enter in target area. Deploying AC. Main system, engaging combat mode. That's a lot of targets. a rifle ammo, but that's totally fine. Sad using a booster is like barely faster. That's fine.
your help now. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty big robot. Was, um, I was about as fast as I was expecting. <laughs> we get it? Yeah! Yeah, we did. And they made it sound harder than it was gonna be. <laughs> it's like, destroy the boss really fast. Use this AC. No. The other guy is like, destroy the target within 30 seconds. I was like, e that might be kind of difficult. What is the part that we just got? Uh, that's right. Um, the ammo extensions? Okay. I guess I don't need this guide anymore, huh? Not really. The, the guide that talks about how to S rank and stuff, though, I should probably hold on to that. Uh, an illustration, cool. Yakia. So. ammo magazine for right arm rifles 24 rounds two reloads eh it's really not that useful for the briefing and go to the mission disorder and extend side it appears that our previous operation to mop up the last remnants of chrome wasn't entirely successful we've received numerous reports of attacks on airborne transports in the area around chrome's military installation someone is clearly using it as a base of operations the investigation team sent to look into the matter met heavy resistance at the hands of an unidentified force. This group is probably responsible for the earlier attacks as well. Leave for the base immediately and destroy any opposition you encounter. Yeah, that was kind of the plan. It was kind of always the plan. Also in the left picture there, 
really does look like a microchip on the ground. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. I'm not really going to use like a specific strategy for this one because one of the hidden parts is basically automatic. And the other one is... Um, there's two parts. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Like I care, come on. The corporations too. No one realizes. Huh? Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. That that wasn't a complete thought, my dude. Did you not learn grammar? <laughs> like proper English grammar? Okay, cool. This world's order and structure, it's all programmed. With nothing else to compare it to, we all accepted it for what it was. This all changed when that raven emerged. Of course it's all programmed, it's a video game. All right, we got the Cronus. Nice. And the other one. Sick. And that's a new thing. Just says parts collected now. Does that mean we have all the parts on this disc? I'm pretty sure it does. So we got a head and a core. Emblem acquire, illustration, music soundtrack. Nice, dude. Noise. S rank right off the freaking bat. And we're actually like 10 minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, it just says parts collected on every single thing now. parts on that many things? Or maybe there weren't parts for those ones. Per mission. Okay. So let me go down the list. Uh, one three was the first mission with parts. Uh, then two one and two two both had parts. Then three two and three three. 
But fifth parts, we got those. Then four, two, and five, one, and five, two. Okay. Then six, two, and six, three. Okay. Then seven, one, and seven, two. Okay. And then eight, one, and eight, two. a completion bonus. Are you kidding me? I'm looking this up right now. Yeah, it's what it says anyway, at least on one of the things. Side. If you don't get this part with the S rank, then don't worry about killing a single thing or how much damage you take. Did I never get this one? Morris arms? That really doesn't sound familiar. Did I get distract? I, I might have got distracted from that one. No, it's right there. Loris. Yeah. Yeah, we did that one. Oh, right. That was the one with the in the previous, yeah, recent episode, I was like, oh, this is the same one where I had to rescue the, yeah, parts. It's weird, it doesn't say parts collected because there is a part for that one. I know because I have it. <laughs> Alright, the 9-3. 10-1. and 11-3. 12 1, 12 2, and then 13 1, 13 2. Which I did those earlier today, so I know I did that. Uh, and then 14 1 and 2 with the Moonlight and the Vixen, we got both of those, even though. I guess if it's a mission completion bonus, it doesn't say parts collected. The Vixen are those really fast bipedal legs that can't carry that much. So I know I have those. Um, and 15-1, which we just did, and 15-2, which we just did. So we have all the things, because we got the... where is it? Side, right? 
right. So what did we actually get? Oh, core and head. And the ammo extensions, which we already looked about, so. All right, uh, new core, new head, and um, I guess in the remaining time that we have in this episode, I will try an S rank. Um, that's the new one. Redoing stats. For CCM isn't great, but we can improve that a little bit. Looks pretty dumb, honestly, but whatever. Yeah, 482, that's not bad. It's not as good as the Queen or the Cicada, but you know. And the core part that we have is the... Cronus? Is that what we got? Yes. Okay. Oh, it has weapon storage. It's only 800. The weight is 800. 19 optional slots? Hey, dude. 1191 energy drain? Gotta stop doing that. Link could be better. I'll go ahead and increase that a little bit. Yeah, the Raycan is 833. 1149 energy drain. 401, 477. Five, four sixty-two, eleven seventy-six cooling. Twenty-five. Heat resistance is about the same. Optional slots. Defense is about the same. AP is twenty-one thirty-five on the Raycan. Yeah, it's pretty similar. The defense stats are a little bit better. Um, heat resistance about the same. It's very close to the same on kind of everything, but it's a little bit more lightweight. Uh, but it's got weapon storage. That's huge. That's so good. And that's way better than this one. Heat resistance. I mean, this one has verse MG response, which is pretty good, and an overboost, but I don't care about that. Um, defense. Energy drain is worse. It's a lot heavier, about like 200 pounds. Look at that. Cronus is better in like every category. <laughs> that's so cool. Now I have some extra weight to, like, to play around with. I mean, it's not a lot extra, but it's a little bit, like... 300 pounds? It's enough for an extension.
Oh, like a thing that throws off tra uh, missile tracking. I really don't care about that, though. Oh yeah, I could just do side shields. Really not that helpful, though. Kind of on this one, though. That's not bad. 138. I mean, it's not a lot. It's got a heat insulation as well, though. That's that's kind of good. I mean, yeah, I could put the Jiren on there. Energy recovery? I mean, that's always good. on. Uh, that's fine. Jiren is good. Um, because Birdie, Kauri, Gaku, the Ananda. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good loadout. Um, yeah, I like it. Gotta change the optional parts again, but it's fine. Uh, condenser capacity, lock on cancellation, I'm sure, yep. Size the sight lock, definitely, like, part turning, yep. Uh, every weapon, reload time, firing consumption, missile display, radar range, cooling performance, yes, and. For CCM, sure. Cool. Yeah, so we got all the optional parts. Neat. Um, and we're actually pretty much at time right now, so... Yeah, I guess we'll do the S-Rank thing. Like I mentioned before, guys, um... I didn't get all of the S-Ranks, obviously. We have... A few... Yeah, we have three reverse side, uh, five remake, and then the Sumika remake. Phantasma remake, so that's four, uh, four missions to S rank. However, they're probably going to take a lot of tries, a lot, a lot of tries. So the next, I guess episodes. Yeah, the next couple episodes um, are just going to be those, and then. After I get all the S ranks, I think that that'll unlock something in the archive and then the completion bonus, um, which we'll go over that and the final episode. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and save the game. Um,. Yeah, that's, that's really all there is. Just S-ranking the final missions. Um, unfortunately. Man. I'm really gonna... I know I, I've said this about other games, but I'm really gonna miss this series. Pretty, pretty hard. It's, I, I absolutely love this game. Absolutely love it. 
Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and check the archive, uh, see the stuff I just unlocked. Guess we gotta check the parts today. Yeah, we checked all the parts. Okay, right. Uh, illustrations? We got a few new ones, I think. Ten new ones. Oh, dude, it's the other Armored Core 3, uh... The other AC that was in the intro. Oh, man, he looks good. Yeah, those are the, uh, the shell arms, I think that's what those ones are called. The spider head, obviously, the Selena core, and I think those are supposed to be the jackal legs. It's a very cool AC design, like with the whole set, for sure. Not necessarily, like, a good way to go, but it's a, it's a cool design, for sure. Absolutely love it. Man, that's cool. I think he was also in the intro for Armored Core 3, I actually come to think of it. Such technique, man. Absolutely floors me. Oh yeah, this one. I remember this one. No, that's definitely the lizard quad legs right there. I don't think that head is in the final game, and those arms definitely are not. That's cool. Definitely weapon arms there. That is so impressive. I, 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 I am absolutely baffled. Wow. Level of detail, man. That level of detail. Those are early grenade launcher arms. I think those are supposed to be the goat reverse joint legs, I want to say. Oh, I, I, I like that one. That's, uh,. That's pretty sick. Oh, are those like Gatling gun? Yeah, those are magazines. Ah, I like it. Yeah, those legs are... Those ones are in the game. Man, that would've been cool for weapon arms like that. Uh, I, yeah, man. Beautiful. Oh, it's like the uh, Gibbon 2 arms. That head design is not in the game. That core design is pretty cool. Sea lion. That is clearly, yeah, that is just the sea lion legs. <laughs> I like it. 
that really didn't change like at all. Yeah, they're just like perfect. Put it in the game. Wait, is this still a new one? Oh yeah, it is, huh? All right, we got three left. Neat. Tank type AC, hover type AC. What? Okay, cool. Okay, so they do have names. That's cool. like a little mechanic droid right there in the middle <laughs> coming out of the hatch be like oh okay cool we're good I feel like this is the same or very similar tank body to that other illustration the the legs the core arms and head are different that's pretty cool Oh, dude, the walrus, too. That is awesome. Get immediately recognizable, just like, yep, that's what it is. Plasma arms? Yeah, that is cool. That is such a great design. Super impressive too. The um, the impression that some of these give, like this one, just like feels older, you know, like an old machine. It's like more frail, less like stylish. Like everything clearly is just like all the. All the moving parts are kind of like showing, you know, it's less practical, but still like very, it just feels like an old machine, you know, it's still incredibly futuristic, but like, yeah, that's, I, I love these, this is absolutely great. Uh, the final soundtrack, right? Monkey, super, super monkey like daddy, of course. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna, you, you know what time it is. It's uh, oh, and just as a reminder, this is a remake, a remix from uh, Silent Line, Monkey Like Daddy, and um, thank you guys for being here. Hope you guys had a good time. Um. Feel a little sad doing this outro because this is the last time we're gonna be doing like this kind of formula, you know? Because we, I definitely got into a rhythm there with like these episodes and like it was very much like metered, kind of like the same kind of like format and just I liked it. I liked it very much. I really like making these. Um, but yeah, the next couple episodes are just going to be me trying to S-rank uh, some of these missions. And um, it's probably going to be like one mission per episode, to be honest. Because these... I haven't S-ranked these yet for a reason. They're very difficult. Um, but yeah, just going to play this track. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys want um, a video, just like all the music in one video, just like, of course it wouldn't have like skippable ads or unskippable ads, it would just be like just banner ads and stuff like that, I guess, you know, stuff that wouldn't interrupt the listening process. Um, I mean, I'll probably do that, just... You know, if for nothing else, just for myself, so I can listen to these in the future, just pull up YouTube and be like, yeah, I'm gonna jam out to some Armored Core Nexus. So, yeah. Never mind. 
don't worry about letting me, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so I'll be sure to do that. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys for the next episode. Um, looks like Armor Core Nexus isn't going to hit the 50 episodes mark, but it's totally fine. I love my time with this, and um, who knows, I might also do Ninebreaker sometime in the future. I would have to find a copy, though. It's the only one I don't own in the Armored Core 3 universe, I guess. Because there's three, it's not even, it's kind of a mainline game. Not really. Um, but yeah, it's three, Silent Line, Nexus came right after, and then Last Raven. But yeah, Nine Breaker is in there as well. I think it was between Last Raven and, uh, Silent Line, or Nexus. But anyways, yeah, thanks for being here. Hope you have a beautiful day, and, uh, until next time. Take care, everybody.